build this experience farm, you want to start by building a platform where you want the base of your spot, where you want the base of your farm to be. Next, build a shape like an oval with four blocks in the middle. Come over to one side and build a tube like this. And you want to go 116 blocks up. Once you have this 116 block tower built, come down here, mine these three blocks, these three blocks, place three blocks here. You're gonna wanna place a trapdoor here, trapdoor here, and a trapdoor there. And now come over here and place three signs. Delete these two blocks, place trap doors. Build a little ladder to get down here. Build a little platform and place blocks right here. Fill in a little area for yourself. And then you'll want to close these trap doors. Now come stand on this block and put one block up. Place three blocks here, three blocks here. Build up three blocks, three blocks here, three blocks here. You're going to build a drop chute right here. And there's only two blocks of space, but there's only two blocks of space between every ring, so wither skeletons can't get out because they're taller than two blocks. When you get to the top of the farm, you're going to want to build, put some water right here, and then you're going to count 13 blocks down. So 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 8, 2, 1, 0. Place a block right there. You can go pick up some water. You're going to want to mine these two blocks, also these three. Come inside here, place a sign right there. And a trapdoor right here. The top of your water column is going to be right here. Oh, you need blocks right there and right there. So that way, when a wither skeleton comes up through the bubble column, if, the, if there's a player standing there, they can punch them off into this back into the drop chute. If there's not, then he'll automatically be pushed over. It's best if the player stands one block down and now come back to the top. Build a little three by three here. You're gonna build out seven blocks in opposite directions. Mine the middle. Once you've expanded these platforms, you're going to want to build a ring around the edge. Also, these platforms can be wider if you want. Once you have this built, go to the edges, place water. Now you're going to come to the center, place blocks here, here, mine these blocks, place a block there, 
I'm gonna fill in this whole area. Fill this in. That's why these platforms can be wider because down here this can this can be up to eight blocks long so this is as wide as it could go on this side and it could go out about this far on this side but in my case I'm going this far oh I need to place signs right here and another water in here these are going to be the spawning plat platforms where their skeletons are going to fall in get pushed into the drop chute the last thing maybe you should have done this first is build a ladder on the outside or a bubble column doesn't matter you just need a way to get up and down so let's say I have a ladder right here build it up a little bit above the spawners Make sure the ladders aren't too close, otherwise weather skeletons can spawn on them. Now to place your spawners in the farm, you're gonna wanna add some blocks right there. And you're gonna count down two blocks from there and place one here. Build it over to your ladder. So now every block needs a block, two blocks above it, so that nothing can spawn on this block. So all these blocks are good. You can build out here and over here. And from here is where you can easily like mine a block and place a spawner in. You're gonna do the same thing over here. So over here, you can place spawners on this side. Now we need to protect these blocks. So I'm gonna build up two blocks, put some blocks above those, and that's high enough. And one more thing, I'm going to add a ring around the edge of the spawning platform so no wither skeletons can escape. Once you place your spawners in, that is the completed farm. If you have two players running it, you can have one person standing here, punching wither skeletons off into the drop chute. But it also works with one player. If you just come down to the bottom, open these trap doors, and stand here killing wither skeletons. And if you're planning on just building a one player farm, you actually just need to build this drop shoot. You don't need to worry about uh, this needs this needs to be soul sand, and you need to fill this whole thing up with water. So it's a bit more work if you're planning on doing two players. The benefit of having a two-player farm is you don't have to use a sword. You can just have the first player stand right here. And as the wither skeletons get punched off by the second player, they'll fall off and die. This player will collect all the experience. If you're doing a one player farm, it requires that you have a strength two beacon and a smite 25 or some high level of smite diamond sword. That way you can do a lot of damage to the wither skeletons that fall down. It doesn't require that, it just, is easier if you have one.